Hey folks, Dustin Howes here, spreading that good word about affiliate marketing. Well, today we're doing a demo of Social B, and my friend Anka showed up to give us the demo. Anka, how are you doing? I'm doing good, and you? Uh, just, just great. It's an early day, but we're gonna we're gonna pound through this demo here. Yep. Uh, so tell me, tell me what you do. I'm a social media strategist here at Social B. I have been for almost seven years now. Um, and I'm the one hosting usually all the webinars. I'm here to guide clients on one on one calls or group calls on how they can best use Social B in their social media strategy, how they can create the strategy, or any other question that they might have. Outstanding. Okay. And uh, tell us more about Social B, what you guys do, and who you're serving out there. So we're a social media management tool, primarily serving um, any small business owner, entrepreneur, solopreneur, or um, or social media agency who needs to be posting online, to be posting on social media platforms. Um, basically, it's for anyone who wants to have an online presence in the social media landscape that we have now. Awesome. And you guys are my number one choice for for doing that. I've I've done a lot of research online, and I need to amplify my social presence. And uh, I decided to go with you guys, and and love what you guys do so much. So we're having you on as a as a guest. So uh, let's uh, jump into that demo and see yeah. some of those main features that you guys have. Perfect. So what you're seeing on screen right now is the social B dashboard. Um, let me just quickly switch over to that view so that I have it as well. And I'll just move it on my second screen here. Like so. There we go. Okay. So this is the dashboard. This is basically what you see when you log into your social B account. It's mm -hmm. also where you can connect your profiles and control your profiles. Because as you can see, each profile has a separate toggle there, which means that your profiles, you can control whether your profiles are sharing content or not. So for instance, if you're just working on a strategy right now, you might not want to, con to post content right away. So you can pause it until you're ready to um, get the show on the road, so to speak. You also have a social accounts button, which will give you more extensive um, management of your social platforms. So you can change the time zone, you can use different integrations that we have to make automations easier and all of that. Then you also have the main menu, which is usually on the left hand side here. Um, and this is divided in between the main parts of the social media strategy. So content, which is comprised by the content menu and the co-pilot, which is an AI assistant that can help you um, generate a strategy. Um, so I won't go into a lot of detail in the co-pilot just because it does take a little bit of time to go through it. Okay. Um, but it's basically going to ask you a few questions on your business. And based on the answers that you provide, it can come up with content pillars in the form of categories, which is one of the main systems in Social B. It can come up with a schedule that's based on your analytics and best times to post on your particular profiles. Uh, according to the content pillars that it provides. And then it can also come up with content for those content pillars. So it brainstorms for you and helps with creating ideas so that you can have the final posts a lot easier. Now, this is still in beta testing, so we're still ironing out a few things from it, but it's a super helpful tool to have nonetheless. So since I've mentioned categories, the view that you're seeing right now is the two main systems that you have in Social B. There's a queue-based system, which we call content without a category, and a category-based system, which is everything else that you see on the screen. The difference is that the queue-based system will have you schedule individual posts at specific posting times. So post A goes out February 28th, post B goes out February 29th, and so on. On the other end, the category-based system has, I'd say, three main advantages over the queue-based one. Number one being the fact that you can organize your content into pillars and have it be visible across your team and organized, and you can color code it, and you can pause them and have them work for you a lot easier. 
Um, number two being the fact that you can schedule categories instead of individual posts. So if I scroll down here and you see my weekly blog post category, let's just say I want to sh share a blog post every Wednesday at nine. And I have 31 posts in here. So it would be quite tedious to go through a calendar and find out what the dates are for the next 31 Wednesdays in a row. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of doing that, I can just go into my schedule setup right here and say, hey, I want a weekly blog post every Wednesday at nine. And I want it to go on these profiles. And it basically just queues up the content into that time slot. So every Wednesday, one of the posts in that category in a top to bottom order goes out. So it's super easy to use. It saves you a ton of time. And then the third feature, the third big advantage of categories also saves you time in the sense that typically some content that you share is going to be evergreen, right? It's going to be that content that does not um, expire, that doesn't go old. So with that type of content, you want to maximize its reach. You want to people to keep it top of mind. And so you will find yourself resharing it every now and again. And this is the feature that a category can do. It can requeue your content. So if I only have these 31 posts in my category and I want to recycle them, I can just set it in a category to requeue my content okay. like this. And basically it goes through them. So I have 31 weeks worth of content in there. And then on the 32nd week, it loops back to the top and goes through them again. Awesome. So it saves you a lot of time um, by simply just repurposing the content that you have. And I know what some of you might be thinking that why would I share the same content twice? Well, even if, you want to maximize your content. You don't want duplicates of the same post on your socials. But basically, you can set it up in such a way that it's not a duplicate and it's still a reshare because you can create variations of the same post. So the first time you're sharing a blog post, you can add a caption that says, hey, have you seen my new blog post? The second time, maybe a few weeks down the road, hey, before I dive into my next blog post, which is going to be on the topic of, Here's the last time that I spoke about that topic and you can share the same uh, blog post. So you're repurposing it. Um, you're resharing it. You can also repurpose it in different other um, ways as well. So there's a, a lot of cool features that can help you with that in social media. What am I, what if I'm not great at writing copy for these posts? Is, is that some kind of assistance that I can get within social media? Is there AI generated like, <laughs> everything everything is AI today. So uh, awesome. we we definitely developed an AI system that's based on ChatGPT on OpenAI that will help you with creating your content. So I have the post editor open up right now. I can just select the types of profiles where I want my content to go. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. going for the main four. And you can see that the post editor is split in two. So I edit on the left hand side i see a preview of it on the right hand side and then i have the ai tools here so i can generate captions and images as well um, so if i wanted captions i also have hundreds of prompts available so that i can actually work on the type of content that i want based on specific categories maybe i want to work for instagram specifically maybe i want to summarize or rewrite my blog posts into social media posts maybe i want content that's fun or interactive or meant for realtors or meant for marketing agencies or meant for a specific industry so i have all these categories of prompts that will help me find the right prompt for my post. And if I still don't know what prompt to use, I can use the random prompt selector. This is something that I actually do when creating content for Social B, is that sometimes I just brainstorm like this. So it'll just come up with a few prompts and then I can just see whenever I find a prompt that works for me and I can maybe change um, the details of the prompt to work for my specific business. And then I can choose the tone of voice, the number of words that I want to have. So I'll, I'll keep a low count because I selected Twitter as well. So I'll just keep it at, let's say, 30. Uh, and then I want to choose whether I, I can choose whether I can generate hashtags or include emoji. And then it'll, it'll just come up with the post like that. So I can um, choose the post that I like. If I like two or three variations, I can choose them all. 
and use them in my content like this. So what this did is that now I have two variations of my post. So I can requeue it with the same idea without it feeling repetitive. Oh. So the first time it goes out, variation one goes out. The second time it goes out, variation two goes out. Um, and the third time, if there's a variation three, variation three goes out. If not, it loops it back to variation one as well. Awesome. And you can go even further. Let me remove one so that I don't have to make the changes twice. But you can go even further. Let's say we want to add a link here. Um, it will generate a link preview. And if you want to generate an image instead, you can do that by using the AI generator. This also comes up with prompts that would work uh, for generating um, a good image. I will not because it takes a little while longer to okay. think about the image than it does for the text. So I don't want to waste time waiting. But <laughs> basically, it, it can. It can definitely do that. You can also add media files from your computer. You can work with Canva directly in Social B. And there are also integrations with Giphy and Unsplash. So if you're looking for royalty-free images, you got it right there. Um, and yeah, if there are errors, if there's something wrong with your post, Social B will let you know. So I have Instagram selected and I have a link preview. And as you may or may not know, Instagram doesn't really work with links right now. So I would have to change the link for an image or a video or something else, something a little more visual. So I can do that very quickly by customizing my post for each profile. This will split the post into a separate instance for each one of these profiles that I've selected, allowing me to just make changes on the ones that I need to. So I can remove that and bring an image from that link here. Let's say I want to do this one or even better. Let's say I want to, where is it? Let's say we want to import a video and create it a, a reel. I didn't select it there. Oopsies. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you guys had the uh, image generator. It's a tool I haven't used on your guys' platform yet, but it's um... really cool. And we've recently improved it a lot. So it really does work wonders. Um, I mean, to the capabilities of AI image generation. You will not be able to find good text, for instance, on image gen generated by AI. But uh, typically, it works surprisingly well. Awesome. All right. Uh, as we wrap this up, any other uh, features for business owners out there trying to amplify their social presence yes. out there? So with Social B, you also have very powerful analytics that will help you um, look at your uh, insights, figure out when your audience is online, figure out what's the best time to post, what posts work better, uh, what's the evolution of your content, your reach, all of that. So you'll be able to find all of that information and export it. Uh, and by the way, this is two years worth of historical data as well. And then you also have the engage module, which is brand new. And it's a way for you to monitor and reply to any mentions, comments, DMs across the different platforms that you have. So it's it's really a full all-in-one helper for your social media. Outstanding. Well, really appreciate your time and giving us this demo here today. If you'd like to support my channel and my content creation habits, please click the link in the description below this video and really appreciate your time today Anka. happy to help <laughs> all right awesome uh go out there and try social b folks get is there a free demo is there a uh what it, what is the action so there's a 14 day free trial so you can join in anytime just go to app.socialb.com um and just join that way outstanding all right we'll see you out there folks take care